Hi all, this is Chris Charles Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at looping through all the sheets in a workbook. Um, this is uh, incredibly useful. And so we're just gonna go ahead and dig right in. I do have my Visual Basic Editor open. You can get there by hitting Alt F11 or going to your macro and uh, going to your developer tab, hitting Visual Basic. So we're in book one. We're going to add a module. We're gonna call this sub sheet loop. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable ws, and that's dim ws as a worksheet. Now, we want to declare that as a worksheet because then we can use IntelliSense later, and then that'll make a little bit more sense as we dig in. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop. We're going to do for each ws in worksheets. you got to put an each in there. I'm typing too fast. And if I hit down, um, and they it all turns blue, turns caps, then you know that you've, your syntax is correct. And then anytime I do a for loop, I always put a next in. Otherwise, you're going to end up with an error. Errors are no fun. All right. So what does this do? Well, first thing it does is you're going to go through each worksheet. You're going to go through every worksheet within worksheet. So if you think of it as a parent as, and a child, um, worksheets is the parent, worksheet is the child, you're going to look at that parent and say how many children do they have and then in this case we only have one so let's go ahead what we're gonna do is we're going to just do this for one uh, and we're gonna go debug dot print just so that you can see how this works and it's gonna be WS and remember how I said IntelliSense this is your IntelliSense your name and then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go WS dot activate and I'll basically just select that sheet I'm gonna run this hit F8 if it takes me to that first worksheet, it's going to activate it and it's going to print it. It's going to be printed as sheet one and we are golden. So that will go through every sheet. Now, let's say you don't believe me. We're going to go ahead and uh, say prove it. We're going to put a bunch of sheets. We're going to add, we're going to do three sheets. I'm going to hit F8, walk through each one. It's going to activate the first one. Now, I don't actually have to do that. Um, and you'll notice that at this point, WS, that object, is that worksheet. So you could do all sorts of stuff. You could go ws.cells and put some stuff in there. Um, let's actually just do that just for fun. We're going to go ws.cells and we're going to go, let's see, let's do, let's do two and then down two call, down two rows over five columns and we'll, we're going to put, does this work? In parentheses, we're going to come back here. Uh, now this is going to be interesting. We're actually going to put this before we activate it, which doesn't matter on this one, but you'll see in the next in the next sheet um, what it does. So it puts in sheet one. Now we didn't clear out the immediate window. That's fine. That's really just for the coder to debug and to check things. Now we actually have gone into uh, worksheet two, and we've actually put in does this work, but we haven't activated it yet. You'll notice when we activate it, it puts that code in there. That's important. It's important coding concept is you don't have to actually see what the code is doing and it will still activate it. So next one, we're going to put it, put that in. You'll notice we're on sheet two. When I hit that, we're going to go to sheet three and we're going to print that name and we are done with all those worksheets. So that's a really quick review of going through each sheet in the worksheets. Incredibly useful code. As you learn how to code, you will use this an absolute ton. Make sure you're subscribed to the Everyday VBA channel. Make sure you like the videos. If you like them, leave me a comment. Hope you enjoyed.